This tutorial is for those who are already familiar with OS X Terminal. Today I am using OS X version 10.11.5. First make sure you are at the root directory by typing cd and hitting enter. If we call up a directory we see the whole path is displayed. However I can also see my local IP address as well as my computer name. I want to shorten it to show only the path with the prompt. We can do this in one of two ways, temporary or permanent. Let's start with the temporary way. Export space ps1 equals single quotation mark backslash w dollar sign space single quotation mark. Now hit the enter key. Now we have a shortened prompt. If we call up a directory, we see a clean looking path, nice and short. If I now close terminal and reopen terminal, my prompt is back the way it was. I will now show you how to make the new prompt configuration permanent. I will also show you how I undo the change. We are going to use an editor called vi to make or edit a file called dot bash underscore profile. The dot at the beginning of the name makes the file hidden. VI has two modes. One is called the insert mode and the other is the command mode. Type VI space dot bash underscore profile. Hit the enter key. Hit the I key to go into insert mode and type export space PS1 equals single quotation mark backslash W dollar sign space single quotation mark. To set this in concrete hit the escape key and now type colon wq. Now hit enter. So far it looks the same so quit terminal and reopen it. There you have it. If you want to take a look inside that dot bash underscore profile file from within terminal just type forward slash usr forward slash bin forward slash tail space tilde forward slash dot bash underscore profile. Hit enter. And now we can see the entry we made inside the file. Now let's undo this edit, but this time we will use the OS 10 editor forward slash USR forward slash BIN forward slash open space tilde forward slash dot bash underscore profile. Hit the enter key. Our file has now opened inside the OS 10 text editor. I now highlight the entry and delete it. It auto saves as it closes. Now we close terminal and reopen it. You see the terminal prompt is back the way it was.